if you are a VTuber, just like I am here on YouTube now, you may have noticed that Melt Video just updated their software to include the plugin Bout 2. Bout 2 is used for VTuber software like BC Face, VTube Studio, and a lot more. And now that they have added the support for Spout 2, VTubers can now use Spout 2 plugins inside of Melt Video. Let's go over how you do this. The question for today is how do you do this? How do you want to do this? So, as you guys can see, this is my Melt layout for tonight, for our streams tonight in our, in our Mario game. Now, obviously, you can do this in any game, but I'm, I'm doing this for Mario because. You know me for Mario on this channel in terms of this VTuber model. So I want to show you case how you want to do it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure VC face is open. We're going to discuss VC face more because it's the one I use for my Yuki model. You may have already noticed I removed the green Y because of the chroma key. So here's how you want to do this. I'm going to remove my camera source, my source so that you guys can see from the very beginning. The first thing you want to do is go to your plus sign on your layers, plus sign. This is going to be considered a video device, not a display capture. Video device. What you want to do here is anything that supports um, about to will be shown here as a camera. So what you want to do is you go to VC face camera, or for those of you who use VTube Studio, you VTube Studio cam. I'm going to be using VC face because I use that for my for my um, avatar. So this is VC face. Now, just like just like any other source, you can resize it, corners, and all that stuff. We're going to um, stretch the canvas. I'm going to go to my um, inspector here, I'm going to press this button so I can put my avatar where I want him. I'm going to here. I'm going to crop it to where I can only see my my avatar here. Right there. This should be good. Awesome. Now, you may have noticed that there is no background. That's actually for two reasons. Number one, if I wanted to just go straight up black background, I can. But I can also do something else. You may have noticed there's no green screen. That's because it's already in there. But I want to show you guys some settings that you need to know about in these in these PC face. Go to settings, go to general settings. Um, go all the way down to where it says how to image capture support. Press that button just in case. Device settings camera, your camera is important. Whatever camera you're using for face tracking. Your microphone is also important because of the mount, mount movement. And then the virtual camera, that is where the magic happens. You want to enable, you want to enable virtual camera for this session and you have to do this every time make sure you guys do that low latency yes on um make sure you install the virtual camera application portion of this software to make sure it works and then you may have noticed there's a background image it is up to you if you wish to have a background image i have one and it is this one. It's a gamer um, gamer background. I just grabbed this from Google. There's my background. And then that's it. You're done. Now remember, you used to have to have this button. So let's say let's say we take off the let's take off the um um the the background here. So let's take away the background. Unload. And then let's press that button. It still works. I can even move myself to the um to the bottom right if I wanted to. 
Now, I would suggest having a background. Or you can even do this. What I would do if the back black background on the thing is bothering you, I would suggest go back to VTuber Studio of NBC Space. Um, go to your settings again. Go to general settings, background image, load, find a green screen. Uh, I'm going to choose my green screen, which is unnamed. And then, and then what's going to happen is you can see the green screen. Now, to remove the green screen, we're going to use the effect of of the um, cloud. Go to effect, press plus button, um, chroma key. There, done. You're done. That's all you have to do. You are done. Resize your avatar. Now, if you see that little area, you can you can even drop him out, drop it out. You're fine. There, there's your VTuber model inside of Melt Studio. Now, obviously, if you want a background, go nuts. It's up to you. But VTubers are now welcome into v, um, Melt Studio. So how is my stream going to play out? The regular way. Only thing is, I will consider a background. Again, if you want a background, go to settings. Go to load background image. Use your image, you're done. If you wanted to. If you want a background image, which I do because I'm going to use this for, um, use this scene for like a chatting segment. I will have to reset this though. Transform. There we go. And you're done. Just crop out whatever you don't want. And then that's it. That's all you have to do. And then any effects that you want to add, like a glow style, can also can also play out. Whatever you want. I'm going to go red, and I'm going to go to my size. I'm going to put it down just a little bit more, and that's it. And then just adjust it to where you can see the glow style on the outside, too. Ta-da! There's the VTuber model. Here's my game scene. And you will be wondering why is it empty up there. That's my chat box. The next thing that they should add is a custom dock. Seriously. I think that's the next big addition to meld to make it more, even more um, productive. But yeah, that's the VTuber update. Um, I've been, I've been contact, I've been in contact with them for like new additions. And they have already mentioned that they're going to be adding more stuff. So I'm very excited to see what they add. And I'm very excited now with VTuber in play. You can now do this. Suggestions. If you are using V2 Studio or VC Face, I would suggest a background just so that it won't be empty. Unless you have the game like on the full screen. But because I have my chat for the moment, I have to put it as a background. Once the once the chat doc or we can put a chat doc in there without me using another application. Then I'm going to redo the layout to allow the VTuber itself, the avatar itself, to be the main focus of without the background. That's all for this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, shout out to the meld, um, to the meld team for what they did to help me out as well as the community. VTubers, welcome to Meld. Let's go. Let's have some fun here in Meld's video.